students in this video we will learn about matter Major and its composition in three states that is solid liquid and gaseous form all the three forms of matter is made up of very small particles which exist independently these part are called molecules and the arrangement of these molecules provide shape and volume to any matter so there is space and there is some force of attraction between these molecules because there are a lot of molecules in a matter so there must be some space between them and uh, there must be some driving force between these molecules so we will be firstly getting the idea what is exactly intermolecular force and intermolecular space these are the two terms which we will be reading firstly then we will be classifying the states different states of matter so children we have to understand one thing that molecules are the building blocks of matter and different states of matter are due to the difference in arrangement of molecules which are present in them molecules attract each other okay so the force of attraction between molecules is called intermolecular force of attraction and the space between any two molecules is called intermolecular space force of attraction between molecules is called intermolecular force of attraction and the space between any two molecules is called intermolecular space solids now we'll be reading the first state of matter that is solid solids have a definite shape and volume they occupy a definite space because these particles are attached by strong attractive forces called intermolecular force of attraction for example iron sand copper etc characteristics of solids are in solids the molecules are held together with very strong force of attraction that is intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules of solids and that is very much than the force of repulsion between them thus in solid molecules are closely and orderly arranged the second property is solids do not diffuse into another solid isko aise samajhte hain aapke paas ek eraser hai aur ek pencil hai try to mix these two things mil sakte hain ek dusre se mix ho sakte hain ek dusre mein no that means they diffuse nahi ho sakte they, they cannot mix to each other solids ek dusre se mix nahi ho sakte so solids do not diffuse into another solid third property solids are not easily compressible क्या हम सॉलिड्स को दबा करके उनका शेप चेंज कर सकते हैं नो सो द सॉलिड्स आर नॉट इजली कंप्रेसिबल रीजन इन सॉलिड्स द मॉलिक्यूल्स आर वेरी क्लोजली एंड क्लोजली पैक्ड एंड कैन नॉट बी रिड्यूस्ड फर्दर फोर्थ प्रॉपर्टी ऑन हीटिंग सॉलिड्स दे चेंज इनटू लिक्विड रीजन हीट प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी टू मॉलिक्यूल्स टू ओवरकम द इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन फॉर चेंजिंग द सॉलिड्स इन लिक्विड्स इसका इसको कैसे समझेंगे हम देखिए आपने आइस लिया आइस क्यूब्स आर सॉलिड Now, when you heat them, heat करने से क्या होता है Heat करने से they melt. और वो क्या हो जाते हैं वो change हो जाते हैं liquid में Okay? So the ice melts to convert into water. We have studied till the characteristics and properties of solids in the next class. In the next video, we will study about the further topics. For any query and doubt, you may write on the comment section. In the last segment, we completed the solid characteristics. Students, I am giving you a diagrammatic explanation of the molecules which are present in the solids. Here, the molecules are closely packed, and the intermolecular force of attraction is maximum in the case of solids, whereas the intermolecular space is least in case of solid molecules. Here, you can see the space between the molecules is very less. whereas the force of attraction with the with which the molecules are attracted to each other is the highest is maximum now we go on further to liquids liquids have no definite shape but they occupy definite space the particles of liquids are less attracted to each other than solids for example 
you have seen liquids like water milk fruit juice okay first characteristic of liquids are in liquids intermolecular force of attraction is less than solid molecules but the intermolecular force of attraction is more than the force of repulsion pay attention but the intermolecular force of attraction is more than the force of repulsion you know attraction and repulsion hence the constituent particles can aggregate but show a tendency to flow liquids the second one is liquids have definite volume third liquids take the shape of vessels in which they are poured that means they do not have definite shape if you pour a glass of water in a jug so it will take the shape of a jug if you keep it in a bowl it will take the shape of bowl hence that means they do not have definite shape fourth point is liquid has a tendency to diffuse into another liquid reason in liquid molecules the molecules are in motion so they have tendency to diffuse into another liquid they mix up into another liquid unlike the solid molecule if you pour a glass of water in a jug so it will take the shape of a jug if you keep it in a bowl it will take the shape of bowl hence that means they do not have definite shape the fifth and last characteristic of liquid is on heating liquids they change into gases here is a diagrammatical representation of molecules in a liquid they have more space as compared to solids molecular force of attraction is less as compared to solids moving forward to gases gases do not have any definite shape and occupy any space available to them the molecules of gases show very less attraction between them for example oxygen air nitrogen carbon dioxide etc characteristic of gas they do not have definite shape nor definite volume second in gas force of attraction between molecules is very weak and can be broken easily by atmospheric conditions therefore the molecules move very freely in all possible directions the third one is gases have no free space surface area that means molecules escape from the open surface fourth property is that gases can be compressed easily fifth one gases can be diffused into another gas reason molecules in gas move very fast sixth gas can flow in all directions seventh gases on cooling change into liquid reason cooling increases intermolecular force of attraction and reduces intermolecular force of repulsion today you have to do one experiment just light one essence stick agarbatti in the corner of a room and stand at another another corner of the room what will happen in few seconds the smell and the fragrance of that essence stick will come to you how because gases that come out from that agarbatti will reach to your nose because they can move freely from one place to another and the molecules move very fast in few seconds the fragrance will reach to your nose now we will see the diagrammatic representation of the molecules of gases they are so loosely packed and the intermolecular force of attraction is very less the space between the molecules is very large you can see it through your eyes and differentiate between them after completing the chapter explanation we move on to the exercises of this chapter before that here are the slides of the pages of the book of uh, first chapter that is matter and its composition we move on to the exercises which has been solved for you and here are the question answers that have been solved just note it down in your copies and if you have any doubt just comment